Brett Bramble here from Natural Growth Institute, here with a very famous Mel Ruffley, and we're in your one of your nurseries, Mel, one of mine. out at East Currajong in the northwest of Sydney. And Mel, you've got a, a wealth of experience in the growing industry back from when your father had a quite a large citrus farm in Dural back in the 1930s to 1950s. You're on five acres here, you're growing all sorts of uh, plants, fruit, eclivias and ornamentals. Mel, uh, you've been on TV with plant shows. Yeah. And Mel, just relatively recently, probably in the last six or nine months, you started using a, a UGF. fish emulsion, the, yeah. Yeah. the UGF 6-in-1, and that's an advanced fish emulsion with deep water kelp and humic acid, fulvic acid, deep, uh, a few other little things in there. But you said you've noticed a significant result. If you just look at this here, uh, we've got a very deep green, although some things are uh, variegated, mm -hmm. the green of these leaves is beyond what they normally would be. They tend to normally be a yellowy look. Um, see those there? Can you see that at all, Jody? That cap just behind me? They haven't been treated with UGF. And you can see the difference in the colour. Right. Okay. The leaves are very pale and they're scratching they're the not, finer they're full not green healthy. and the yeah. flowers are very pale as well. The flowers are falling off early. And um, that's, that's neglect. Um, but these on this side, um, right through, they're all uh, all been done with UGF, and um, the flowering this year was just magnificent, you know. They look sensational, Mel. Yeah, good deep green in the leaf, good healthy plant, and all shooting away well. Now this is all new growth, all lovely, beautiful here. And Mel, I remember you bought five litres of the fish concentrate <coughs> there probably about six or nine months ago I yeah. guess that's when you first started using it that's recently come it... back for another five litres and that's yeah. why we're here today but uh, mm. around about how how many times did you give it an application and what sort of amount did you mix it one to a hundred we did the one to a hundred in the watering can and I did the whole lot once about May. And we're in the first part of October now, basically just into the second month of spring. Mm -hmm. But I gave them a second go just before the flowers started. So the very first flower I saw coming, I gave them another one. And that turned the flower into a, a bigger, much bigger flower. Okay, so one application mixed one to a hundred in around about May. Yeah. And then that's with the watering can, you give it sort of a light to medium watering, would that be mm -hmm. a fair call? Yeah, yeah. And then you give it enough as another dose as the flower started to show, which would have been late June. Late June. Okay, so just yeah. the two applications. And yeah. Mel, I uh, I don't sort of mind adding in, but when we were catching up quickly last week, mm. and you were telling me about what you saw as far as results go with using the product on your clivias, and the word you used was was magic. Yeah. And I'm kind of looking at you a little bit funny, and you go. Uh, Brett, I'm not overdoing it. They, no. that, that is magic. That, no, that is, it is magic, yeah. yeah. And uh, the Clivia Society will be chasing me around. Because, <laughs> although we didn't have a show this year. Because um, of COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do send pictures of flowers into the, um, the bulletin man. And um, he's uh, making comments about, oh, wow, that's nice. Isn't that big, you know? Gee, they're nice plants. You know, that sort of thing. And uh, that'll, that'll spread around. I won't be able to be the best because everyone else will have it. <laughs> right, so you think they'll learn about the product oh, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah I'm sure of that. And yeah. we do know another fairly established Clive grower using the product and getting some big results. Yeah, and right. believe it or not, he called past uh, yesterday to oh, get right some more on. product. Yeah, good. Yeah. And I saw some um, plants in the back of his uh, little van and they did look spectacular yeah, too. Yeah, that's the answer, isn't it? Yeah. And how many varieties would you have here, Mal? Probably five varieties mainly. Um, Clivia miniata, be 15 to 20 different colours and more. They branch out into many different ones. And uh, as, as you go along, you, you get another variety in from somewhere that you see, you like, you know. 